open your model image and then create a new vector layer name it or not select the pen tool in the tool options palette select point to point select your colors I will just use black and white. I have to move my recording thingy out of the way. Okay, now all you do is click to place a node wherever you think you might need it around the model's body. There's one at the waist. One at the hip, one at the knee for a pair of pants, one at the hemline, I'll put one at the center of the hem, one at the side, up here, the other knee, the other hemline, center, side, back up the hip, back up the other waist, and then you go back to the start, starting node, right click edit and select close and that's all there is to it you don't have to be real accurate when placing the nodes we'll fix that in a minute okay now select apply to apply the shape you just created you need to do that every time you create a shape okay to change the color of the pants you can select the pants layer on the layer palette right click select properties and then you can change the color or add a pattern Let's give it a color and this is where you select the node width um, I tried to match the, I mean, not the node width, the stroke width. I tried to match the width of the line in the drawing of the model. Okay, select OK. I'll select Apply again just to make sure that gets recorded. Okay, now let's fine tune the pants. Uh, I like to zoom in when doing that because the nodes are so tiny. It's hard to see them. I also turn off the color on the layers palette to make them easier to see. Okay, so just click and drag on the node to move it. On this one here, I want a smooth curve at the hip. So I will right click on the node, go down to node type and select symmetric. That, that automatically puts a curve on each side of the node. Oh, I forgot to point out one thing. I need to undo that. You need to be in edit mode here or else you'll end up creating more nodes. So make sure you stay in edit mode. Okay. Now go down to pants and see if everything looks okay. I think I will change the node down here on the hemline change the node type to symmetric and again we have a smooth hem you can pull the curve out to make it bigger take this line move it on over this line move it on over we can take this line dip it down 
we can take that curve and change it like this or just leave it like that go over here pull this line over and I think I'll pull this line over too okay I'll change that node type node type to symmetric make the curve a little larger oh look what it did to the corner here take that push it in and we need to pull this down here like this okay go back up here to the waist everything looks good we can zoom back out put the color back on looks pretty good hit apply in your tool options palette now if you want to add some detail like pockets we can zoom in again to draw a simple line you turn your fill color off and use the pen tool again just to draw a black line we'll go one two three nodes and apply and put on another pocket one two three nodes apply now zoom in again turn off the color select the layer get edit mode right click on this node change the node type to symmetric and apply turn the visibility back on now you have a smooth line for your pocket to move it just oops jumped out of edit mode you can use your pointer tool to move it by selecting the layer got the wrong layer select the layer Keep getting the wrong layer. Select the layer for the pocket. Move it down. Resize it. Make it smaller. Reposition it. Whatever you want. Okay, now for the other pocket, select that layer, turn off the color so you can see the darn nodes, select the pen tool, edit mode, right click on that node, note, change the node type to symmetric, when it's grayed out, that means that that's the node type that is selected and click apply turn the color back on and for some reason that didn't change okay select the layer right click on the node node type symmetric apply turn the color back on I only turn the color on and off because it makes it easier for me to see use your pointer tool select the layer and resize the pocket if you want reposition it
back to your node tool and check your tool options palette. If the check mark is not grayed out, then check it again to make sure everything's been applied. Zoom back out. Another thing that might happen is that, like in this case, the model's hand got covered up. If you want that to show, I don't try drawing around it when I'm drawing the pants. I just leave it like that and select the model layer, the selection tool, copy the hand, and then go back up above the vector layer and uh, select paste as new layer. And I got more than a hand. So let me zoom in here. edit this so that I only have the hand. Uh, I'm going to take my magic wand, select the hand, expand my selection to include the outline. Invert the selection to get rid of the other stuff. And then cut. And I got rid of the other stuff except the hand. Okay. Now I can select none. Zoom in again. Use my pointer tool. Move the hand over. Till it lines up with the model. Okay, zoom out. There you have it.